In Floral Park, Long Island, a couple with a family business spanning generations and nations is serving coffee with a dream in mind. I want you to come to Rivers Cafe and feel like you are at home. I'm Abigail Rivera here at Rivers Cafe, located at 304 Jericho Turnpike in Floral Park. We import our coffee from my father farms in El Salvador. We can tell you exactly what harvest it is, when was it roasted, uh, how do we process it. I love the traditional blend. We won't give you too much aftertaste or too much bitterness. Who makes these? A uh, girl from church. She did these amazing pastries for us, the muffins. The tres leches is one of the best sellers too. If you wanna make sure you're gonna find some, you have to come early during the day or you can call us ahead and we reserve it for you. Tell me whatever you care to share about your story of coming to the United States. I was uh, 15 actually. I couldn't wait. Our country's uh, situation was really bad. It was so danger dangerous over there that we had to make the move. I was trying to get into school, but you had to work basically to survive and support your parents. And I started to take uh, ESL classes. You know, that was like the hardest thing. You know, the, the language always is. You're 30 now, and in that short time, you were able to <laughs> pick up a whole new language, start a new life, and create a business from it scratch. Feels like, it feels like a very long time when I take a look at the years that have passed. When I had to sleep in my car, when I had to, you know, get coins because I didn't have enough money to take the bus to my job, or different experiences that, you know, uh, I, I'm sure that I'm not the only one who has been through that. But this community has been such a family to us. We didn't know if it was gonna work if people were gonna actually like it. But the community, you know, I remember this guy that was one of the first customers that walked in and he told me, listen, I live right here in the next block and don't worry, uh, we're gonna support you. You're part of our family now and we're not gonna leave you alone. And those words makes me give not the 10 or 15 or 50% 50 of myself to give the 100 or 110%. We have learned and we keep learning and we're gonna keep improving for this town because it has been amazing to us. Gil and Abby, where did you meet? We meet each other in the church. Here? Here in Yes, in, the in New York. We were serving in the same band. He was the guitar player really? and I was the singer. No way! So, yes. We, you know, I, I like the way that he touched and played the guitars. <laughs> kind of worship, right? You did a good job. <laughs> now we're making we're music making right, behind right, the counter. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm okay. from Guatemala, and as Abby said, uh, she's from from El Salvador, and I think everything started when we finally got married, right? We started to think about what we can build. We don't have kids yet, but I think, you know, everything we're doing right now, it's it's in the purpose to have a really nice legacy. You know, we, we struggle, like all the families. Sometimes we, we see, we sit down at the end of the day when, you know, the day was quiet and there was no customers in. And what are we gonna do now? We are learning how to build up this thing together. Probably I can make it on my own or you can make it on your own. Right. But uh, putting it together, it's more power than that. We put everything in this shop. So we're trying to, you know, make it work.